Welcome to the online lessons that your school has chosen for professional development this year. My name is Lisa Durf. I'm in your, your instructor. I want to orient you in a video about this online environment. When you log in, this will be what you will see. You see lessons, you see welcome to the class, audio podcasting, blogging, voice thread, social media, cartoons, and if you scroll down, at least to my screen, you will also see avatars that talk, timelines, and collaborative writing. My intention is for you to begin at the very beginning, so let's click on Welcome to the Class. And it goes to this screen, which looks very confusing. But if you scroll down a little bit, it'll tell you instructions. It says there are two activities that you should do before you even begin. The first one is a principal statement. So here we are talking about our principles, and you can fill it out here, or even better, you can get one for yourself. I'm trying, there it is, the PDF. It'll open in a PDF, which can be printed by both Macs and PCs. If you're on a phone or iPad, I'm not sure if you can print it. it. Depends on if you're hooked up to the network printer or not. So my idea is you fill the blanks, you copy, you paste it, and you put it on your blog. Blogs are right here. Okay, and the second thing you should be doing is introducing yourself on your blog. And you can read this, of course, this is the suggested reading for that activity. The blog, so let's take a look at the blogs. Here's mine, here's Dr. Pratt's, here's some of the students that are in here. Yes, student Veronica, she, well, never mind. But y'all have a blog here, and that's what they look like. Let's look at my blog. And here you have, it says, after complete second lesson, it says you post something. Welcome to week one, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's go back to the lessons. This quick orientation here. Audio podcasting, for example. If you went in here, it has a how-to audio podcast and that has a reading here well here it has watch the videos and then you can do the reading it has some optional resources which you don't have to do but they're suggested and if you look up here under lessons it says welcome that was the first thing audio podcasting it has two little things we're in the first one in the second one it tells you oh, this junk up here, but I don't pay attention to that. It says your instructions, create a podcast with your students in the classroom and their take-home books. Now, we're elementary people, and in elementary, especially kindergarten and first grade, and sometimes in second grade and third grade too, we have take-home books, which come with the reading series, and the take-home books are just the same stories, but in paperback. Now, maybe when you're a fifth grade teacher, you have books the kids are signing out from the classroom and the reading at home to someone. That's fine, too. It doesn't matter which one they're doing. Uh, the important thing is that they are sharing a book, they're reading into a microphone, and that will be listened to. You'll find out the kids become very, very professional in what they do the first couple of times, not so much. But once they start listening, and their parents start listening and tell them what they sound like, and their grandparents or the aunts or the uncles, suddenly the kids go, oh, this is important. That's what we want. You would be really surprised at the uh, progress they'll make. Let's look here at the blogging real quick. Here it tells you it's a tutorial how to use kid blog, and I don't claim to have made any of those. Okay, and then it has a reading that you, and I've given you the PDF here. It has some optional resources. And if you look under blogging, the second little link 
tells you the the assignment is to read something and then to make a blog okay and it has rubric for how it should be done a good blog has three very important elements and you should be showing your kids this too it has the content what it's about that's really important it has the blog it has the um an image it has some kind of image that relates to it so the blog is about lollipops maybe you have a picture of a lollipop and then you need to have tags and a hyperlink if you don't know about tags they're they're more the librarian kind of side of things don't worry about them in first and second and third grade maybe fourth and fifth you get with your librarian and you can figure those out they're the dewey decimal system of the internet hyperlinks are very important you get with your computer teacher to teach the kids how to do that so you don't actually have to be teaching the kids you're you're bringing in groups of people to teach the kids how to do these things and of course the mechanics the spelling punctuation things that the teachers have always looked at can we have voice thread which is very important because it's so easy i think and my internet is not moving very fast. There I have a voice thread. I have a recording of a voice thread session, which I did. And we have some teacher notes, reading and optional resources. And then the, the assignment is to create a book talk with your students. Now in in the using voice thread thing that I did, I do show you how to do that. If you don't understand or you want more information, if you go straight to voice thread, they have tutorials on their website that show you exactly how to do it. If we go to social media, we see Edmodo. And this is a protected site for doing Twitter-like things with kids. You have to be a student, you have to be approved. Teachers can erase things. Teachers can say, hey, look, you need to do this, that, and the other thing. It's a great learning tool. Here we have something to watch about social media. We have reading. We suggest optional resources. And then we have social media. And we have an assignment here for you to do all of the assignments are designed that you can do with or without your students it's really good to do with your students because the whole point of professional development is to help you in your craft your craft of teaching it is an art and i am trying to help develop your art in teaching by giving you more tools to get your curriculum across. I'm not trying to change anything as far as your curriculum. Okay, creating Tundu, it has a how-to there, it has some notes about reading and optional resources, and a TED Talk by Larry Lessig, it's a classic. And then it tells you the second link is the assignment, creating a parable or creation story using 21st century so somebody could understand it if they were a student in the 21st century then avatars the talk and it tells you the how to and tells you reading and has the assignment timelines I give you two videos here I give you a tutorial for capsules and the sample capsules so you know what is going on there and i have reading and i have optional sources about why we would use timelines in history or social studies and finally collaborative writing and i give you some reading and some optional reading list i tell you the assignment is 
to form a group with the people that you are viewing this development with or the people in your school. Maybe you have your one deep and your K through five and all of you want to do it. Or maybe only two groups in your school. That's fine. That's, that's per perfectly fine. And you would do that and you would write, there's your rubric, you're gonna write a fairy tale a modern Cinderella tale. And if you have ever looked into fairy tales, you know that they are written in every culture and they're they're very similar. I give you a how to on primary pad and then I just have you do that reading. And that's all you need to do. Now if you want to look at the assignments page you can do that it looks very imposing. It has your assignments here. You can check them off as you're done. Not going to give you any more. Um, this is my view, so you do see the delete thing. Resources. I may have some resources in here that I put in here. Get to them that way if you'd like. There's some optional resources that I have thrown in here. And teacher, students, attendance, forms, chat. You can go in there and chat with people if you like. My virtual office is open as you see, 5 to 6 p.m. EST. That's where I am located. You can write messages. You can say hi. You would push the enter button. And there it says hi, Lisa Durf. So I will be present here at the time. I will also be available on Skype or via Gmail chat or even email if you wish. There's a wiki here that has some course readings on it. There's a blog over here, all the blogs and the syllabus, which gives you everything what we have done here and the syllabus. So I hope that this has been helpful to you and has given you a feel for the course.